Hey, hey, everybody. Oh, welcome back to my channel. We have, um, um well, uh, last video wasn't really Halloween y, but it was kind of spooky and grungy. So we have literally the first Halloween video of the season. And I thought, do you know what? Do you know what I haven't done since last Halloween? <laughs> I haven't made a masterboard. I haven't actually made a masterboard for a very long time. So I thought, let's make a spooky masterboard. And this time I've done it a little bit different and I have stuck on some little bits of ephemera. So this is my little play around and now we're going to do it for real. Right, so I did this on a piece of file folder and I have the other half so and i know that some of you probably don't uh, well not everybody does halloween do they but if you don't do halloween that's fine you don't have to have mm. halloween stamps you can use any kind of stamps it doesn't have to be halloween so get out your stamps and just just get stamping really so i have got um, some of my Halloween stamps out. I've also got some that aren't Halloween as well, just to like fill in the gaps. Um, I'm not going to name them all because as you can see, there's quite a few. Um, but yeah, just grab out, um, don't have to be Tim Holt stamps either. They can be any, any Halloween stamps, any kind of stamps you want. Right. So first off, what I'm going to do is I've got my acrylic blocks. I have got my Versafine Claire. And I'm going to take, I've got Deadly, Dearly Departed. So what I like to do when I first do my masterboards is I like to put the big ones in first. And then fill in afterwards all the little bits. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to knock you then, right? And I'm just randomly. Sorry about the noise. Randomly taking all different stamps and just stamping. I don't tend to um, worry about it too much um, when we're just putting in the larger stamps, to be honest with you. Um, and then I go back in. Let me put my stamps because I don't have a lot of room. Then I go back in with um, all the smaller stamps and fill in all the gaps. But I don't think about it too much. This one wants to go on because this one just doesn't like sitting on its plastic sheet. It just falls off all the time. I think I'm going to put this one to the side because it just drops off. And then, oh, let's put the spider on. Put that there. Um, let's put on, I love this stamp, let's put on the big Halloween. Oh, move it up a bit. Where should we put you? I'm not bothered about overlapping either. They're all in the same colour, so yeah, I'm not too fussed.
out my generic ones just to fill in the gaps because I think you can tell it's Halloween from this. So let's have a look at, I have got tidbits. Tidbits. And then we can find perfect little places for the little ones. for all of this I don't think we have but I'm gonna put some of it there and then maybe there done I reckon that's done and just like that you have a collage. So I'm gonna give it a quick blast with the heat tool so I don't get some smudges or anything like that. And then we'll get on with the next bit. Right, so now I'm gonna get my trusty mat because it's the perfect size. And I'm going to just get First off, I use three colours. So I use Lost Shadow because it's perfect. A little bit of weathered wood. And then I used my ink pad to do the splash. So I'm going to put on a little bit of Lost Shadow. And I'm just... And it is going to curl up because... All right, so that's the Lost Shadow. And what I love about it is... Oh, I just love Lost Shadow. It's just, you just, it's there, but it's not there. It's, oh, I just love it. Right, so now I'm going to go in with the weathered wood and I'm not going to be so, I'm just going to be, because this is a darker colour and I don't want to lose any of the Lost Shadow. So that's that. I'm going to give that dry and then I'll be back. Oh, I think it just looks so cool. But then, then you add the vintage photo and that's when it starts going. Mm -mm -mm. So I'm just going to put some. And it's quite a large space, so I want quite a bit. I'm just activating it. I want some big droplets. And now we're just going to, oh, I mean, look, <laughs> oh, look, it just, oh, it's so delicious. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh, right, I'm going to put that aside and I'm going to use some of this coffee dyed paper to soak up. I don't want to waste it. Perfect. And then look at that. How cool does that look? Oh, it's so cool. Right, I'm going to give it a dry and then I'll be back. Right, so now that's all dry and make sure it is dry because you're going to be sticking some bits and pieces on it. So I have got a little tub here of all Halloween ephemera and I've kind of pulled out my own little snippets, all the smaller bits. So let's get some stuck on oh i do like the idea of a label and of course i'm gonna grunge them up oh 
Oh, yeah. Let's glue that on. So let's just stick on the ephemera. And you can think about it. You can like where you want to place it. I mean, it, I, I wouldn't, don't know if it's going to make any difference because when we, when we come to cut it up, you're probably just going to get a little bit of one and a little bit of another. Right, so I have randomly stuck on some ephemera of the Tim Holtz ephemera, Halloween. Um, and like I said, I went through it and I got out all the little bits. And oh, it looks so cool. Let me just make sure it's in shot because again, my window is shining. And now I'm going to get my strip of the vintage tape that I made. In my previous video i didn't make it in my previous video but i showed it and then i'm just gonna randomly cut some pieces all different sizes and thicknesses perfect I'm just going to put them aside and then I'm going to get my pokey tool and I'm going to start I love this stuff Start sticking it over where the ephemera is. I mean, oh, look at that. Can you see? Look how cool that is. Oh, it's just awesome. It's just so awesome. If, you, if you're if you new here, welcome. Um, and if you haven't seen how I made this vintage tape, I'll link the video in my description box below. Um, I think it was... It's over a year now um, since I put out my first video. Two years, something like that. Um, and yeah, I'll link it down below so you can go and give that a look. It's so easy. It's just literally, it's made out of contact paper and alcohol ink. You know, like the sticky back plastic you used to put over your books. Oh, I love the stuff. I absolutely love the stuff. It just, <laughs> it just looks so cool. Right, so I'm just sticking it over. And you don't have to put it over the ephemera if you don't want to. You can literally put it wherever you like. Put a bit over the label. <laughs> Look at that. <gasps> Look at the grunge. <sighs> I love it. Right, now I want a smaller bit. Um, can put that there and where haven't we haven't got any over here so let's put a strip coming down the side 
but also a little bit going over there for oh look at that <laughs> just looks so cool and then i'm going to put a little bit going over the eye and then just fold it over oh look at that i want a bit at the top here because i've got a bit of a gap just here I'll do that's a little bit hard to get off that was what do we think i kind of want a bit over his eye you know where's my strippy gone where's it gone oh i've lost it of bits left and I'm wondering if I could get I don't think this is gonna fit but it's worth the try <laughs> oh, it just looks so cool. And there we have it. There we have our master board all grunged up, and there's our other master board. Perfect. And now we're going to make some ephemera. All right, so I'm not too sure what I'm going to do out of this. I kind of want to make the stuff. Oh, I think my phone's wonky. Um, I want to use this as some to do some Halloween clusters. Because, well, I haven't got any. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my chomper. And I'm going to cut these up into, I might do some labels, some tickets, some tags, some strips. I don't know yet. I'm just going to see how I feel. Right, so we'll start off with this one. And I think, let's put it the wrong way because it won't fit. I think I'm going to... Just there and then a strip perfect and then I think we'll have let's do two and a half oh, yes. and then Let's do, let's do five or four and a half. Let's do four and a half. Um, and then we can have another strip. Three 
and a half. And then there's another one there. And then let's let's get this one out. So I do want the strip. And maybe oh, it's gone off. Three inches and then by let's do four and a half. Perfect. Um, and then I kind of like the idea of having that as a strippy. There we go. And now let's see what we can make out of these. So first off, I'm going to get, I don't know if I'm going to need my big one. But... Ah, here it is. Here's my little one. My straight edge as well. So let's, oh, I can get to that now. That's better. That is such a cool tag. <laughs> and what can we do with this one? Should we make it a tab? Should we make it a label? Um, I think a tag. This one can definitely be a label. pinging myself this one is definitely going to be a tag and so is this one and so is this one and my strippers are going to be for clusters so let's put those aside This could be a journaling card. Oh, my tape doesn't like my punches. So we'll round that off. I'm going to use some of the ephemera as well. So let's... Right, I'm going to trim this down. Put that just there. And then about there. And that one. I might put that at that side. And then all right, so let's stick this here. And 
this side. because I want that number down the bottom so just a little bit over let's give this a bit of distress Bug though. No. All right, let's use this because I've got so many of these, but I don't use them. I don't know why. Perhaps that's what I should do. Perhaps in one of my videos, I should, um, Oh no, do you know what I like? I'm gonna like want that on the other side. Yeah. Um maybe I should do a video using those cards. What do you reckon? Oh dropping everything. Right, I've got another bit of tape here, so Oh, oh, well, that actually turned out all right. <laughs> Let's put a bit. On here, too. I'll just fold it over. That's quite cool. I've got some other bits, too. No, I'm just I'm not just not a flowery person. What about Ooh, I quite like that idea. Give it a I like that. I like it a lot. Yeah, I like that. I think these are last year's layers. Um, I think there was in the paper dolls and layers set. All right, let's do a little. Bit of distressing. And then. That's a cool spooky cluster. I like that. It does need a circle on it though. And you know what else is missing as well? Um, where is it? It's missing my favorite. Ta -da! That's what it's missing. So what I might do is I might get some 
some of the Tim Holtz backdrops. Oh, should we use a bit of that? Use a bit of that one. Because it needs one. Because, wow. Well. And there's perfect places here as well where I don't have to cut any of the um, image. Just under there like that. <laughs> oh, I love it. I do need, it does need a, a light, a number on it. It does need some sort of number on it. And I don't think I have anything like that in here. Um, no. Right, let's have a look in my stash. Let's see what I've got. Hmm. Got lots and lots of numbers. No. Where's my circle ones? I should have a drawer. Oh, here we go. Found it. So how about... No, so it took me all that time to find that and I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. But I do like the three. But I think I'm going to have to use a darker ink because that's better. Just there. Yeah, I like that. That's a cool, spooky cluster. Very cool. Right, what else? So we have some tags. Now for these, We are going to cover up the eye unless we go a little bit further up but I'm not that bothered so I'm going to make this into a pocket and just go round three edges put it in the middle there Got sticky fingers. All right, let's put a bit of this on the bottom. Lovely. Lovely. Let's get my my cropper dial and 
And then put that over there. Oh, it's wonky, but it's stuck now. Oh. Yes, this is, I never know, I never really know how to use, I mean I do, but I don't, I don't tend to use my ephemera. And I mean I'd like, I know how to use it, but. I don't hoard it. something I don't do I don't hold it but I don't use enough of it if that makes sense I don't use enough This is one of those little collage tiles from the other year. And I'll tell you what I want. I want some, I want some right grungy. cheesecloth that's what I want let's put that there um, In fact, weirdly enough, I didn't actually buy any packs of ephemera this year. And I'm wondering if that's if that's the reason. Because I don't I very rarely use it. I think it might be, which is weird because I do like to use spooky stuff. Let's just trim that off. Perfect. And then we have a little pocket. But I think I want, I want to reinforce around the top. So let's have a look what I've got. in the Heidi Swap stash. Blue, oh, might be, or maybe white. Yeah, maybe white will stand out. I 
think that will or maybe this one Let's stick that down there I like that. Let's have a look. <coughs> oh, I've got a tickly throat. Kind of like that colour. It's going to be that or it's going to be the black. Let's do black. These are also Heidi Swap. Heidi Swap's washi tapes as well. I think we could go along there. My, my scissors need washing. They're all sticky. Right, so I'm just going to... Sand over it. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. Right, so we've got a cluster. And we've got a tag. All ready for a Halloween journal. Right, what else? We've got the big label here. Let's have that that way. Let's give it a bit of an ink. And then a little bit of a sand and should I do this one or should I do I like the black one little a little sandy sand and then I saw no because I forgot that it's already got that poison there Maybe we could do a window, yes, with a piece of shattered glass in. Oh, yes. I like the idea. I have to say... I don't quite feel myself today. 
but we have got really like grey dodgy weather so I'm thinking I'm thinking the weather's affecting me again so yeah so I do apologize if I'm a little bit off We want the little skull in the window. I think we do. Should we put him up? Oh, yeah, let's put him off a little bit. Um, poison, but we've already got one that says poison, Tony, so we don't want another one that says poison, do we? Where's my little book? Let's see what we've got in here. No. It's just words, yep. So we could put a little crow. Where's my pokey tool gone? I'm going to poke his feet out. There we go. We could have a little crow on the roof. stickiness off the back and let's have a little bit of cheesecloth so I want it kind of going down the side here And let's glue this down. Yep. Do you know what it does need? Right, bear with me. I've pulled out my digitals. I said I was going to do something with Tracy Fox, didn't I? I completely forgot I had these. Oh, look at all this ephemera. It's just so delicious. You're not supposed to be in there. There we go. Something like this. Sink it. Oh. And then give it a little, a little distress. over there like that so this corner perfect um and what about 
ghostly. Let's have a look and see what else we've got in here. Oh, I like them. We've got a clock. Oh, butterflies. Oh, all right, let's have a butchers. Oh. Right, I think I'm going to cut this in half. Link it up. Give it a bit of a... And then I'm going to cut just a little bit down and then just curl it round a little bit, but I'm going to just distress the back of it a bit and put that down there. Lovely. Right, let's give this and that can go under there. I don't know if I'll be able to maybe no. But I could cut the top of it off. So it looks like it's coming. There we go. Just want to see a little bit of his face. That's it. Oh, this is so cool. Do I want to put the other butterfly? Should I put the other bit of the butterfly there? Yeah. I like that. and then cut that wing too and then just give it a little bit of dimension and then put this bit just there like that Oh, I like that. And then you can just stamp on the back or put a bit of writing paper on the back and that could be like a cool little journaling card or just a spot to put in your journal. I like it. I like it a lot. So it's the next day. <laughs> but I feel so much better. The weather yesterday was awful. I had migraines. I felt sick. Oh, I just... I. And I couldn't get my head around it. Like, I really struggled yesterday. Um, I don't know if you can notice in my videos. Hopefully you can't, but you probably can. Um, yeah, I was just... It was just a real bad off day. So I thought, you know what? Let's just call it a day and have your dinner, go to bed and wake up tomorrow feeling refreshed and start again. So that's what I am doing. So we're starting again and I have pulled out some other bits. So I have got some grungy washi tape. I also found this in my stash. Look at all those gothic stamps. They've all got candles and stuff on. Ah, oh, I love them. So I thought, hmm, I don't particularly use a lot of PET tape. So I thought I'd give those a go. And I have some stamped ephemera as well, which I'm pretty sure there'll be something in here that I can use. And do you know what? I haven't made, I haven't made any tabs. So I've got my EK Success tab, and I thought because I was struggling yesterday, 
um, and because I just didn't know where I was going or what I was doing because my head was just full of oh all sorts I thought you know what let's make some tabs so I'm going to use this one and I don't really I don't want it that way but I want I want the label in it um that's quite cool that's quite a cool label right and i'm going to keep this strip this bit just here and then i'm going to get out my other label punch because these ones you can make them single-sided which means that I can get that 31 so I'm not wasting a bit of ephemera and that can just go on the side of a tuck or something. Let's put that one back and then I think I'm gonna grab another one and I want that bit of ephemera so I'm gonna line it up like that and again i'm going to keep this strippy bit put that back in the pile and we've got a couple of tabs so i was working on one of um tracy fox's my head's still full of fluff <laughs> Tags, it's a tag, it's a tag, it's a tag, it's a tag. Right, so, and I want to put a bit of Tim Holtz's tissue paper because I'm hoping it's going to blend. Even though it's quite a dark background, um, I want it to blend. So I need to find my collage medium now i do have which is extremely old and probably gone off but i do have my vintage photo um my distressed vintage collage medium which uh it doesn't look too bad actually it's a bit it's a bit gunky um but I don't know if I want to use that one because I don't really want to change the colour. I might have my... Ah! <laughs> no, that's gesso. Of course it is. Um, right. I have all my pastes here, but... Funnily enough, I don't have my collage medium, so bear with me. All right, so something I've just found out. I need more collage medium because these ones have gone... A bit yellowy. Um, I've got matte and I've got crazy. So I'm going to put those on my pile. And I'm hoping... Um, yeah, it's a little bit thick, but I can work with it. So I'll fix it. I'll fix it a bit later. I know how to fix it, so... Right. So I'm just going to get a bit of scrap paper and this one is matte and I'm gonna get a brush I'm not gonna get that one I want a squarey one and I'm just gonna cover the back The boys are barking because they my other half's just come home. They're going for a groom because they're shedding. They're majorly shedding because they're getting ready for their um winter coats. 
Right, so I'm just going to, I'm going to have it off the edge a little bit so I can peel it off. And then I'm just going to, and I don't think this is going to work. It's not going to be, give me what I want. And I think it's because it's too thick. So I'm going to give, I'm going to put a bit of squirt of water in the lid. Right, so it kind of worked. It kind of didn't. I kind of don't like it. <laughs> But we're going to persevere, so we're going to we're going to do something, um, and we're just going to carry on, right? So where is? I don't want. So maybe. Maybe we could use that. Oh, let's put it the other way. Put that there. Um, or maybe we should just cover it up. <laughs> oh, don't you just love it when you're in these moods? So it should be a little bit quieter because we have no builders in today and we um only have one pup because they go separately um because they're like a full job full day full day to get them groomed so yeah bert is gone how about that oh i like that i do like that with, with the thingy in the background and i do have some of the crack transparency but i only have one half of it um so where is the rest here they are here they are because i kind of want i wish you i wish we got one down here and one down here so we could use one or the other Because it's, yeah. Quite like that. So yeah, let's use a little bit of, of this one. And we're going to turn it over. I'm going to keep the strips because... She says it's going to be a lot quieter. Ernie is definitely, Ernie will literally bark at anything. Like if Ernie barks, we're just like, yeah, whatever. If Bert barks, then we're like, oops, something's going on. But Ernie, Ernie will bark at absolutely anything. He'll bark at a bird, a butterfly, anything. Come on. It's not my day today, is it? And I even had the pin in it. Here we go. I've got a black edge. Oh, and I've just dropped something and I don't know what it is. There we go. Right, and again, I'm just going to smooch round. 
and then place the frame like that and then that can cover that oh i like that it's showing a little bit of that through So nope, nope. Oh, I've got itchy leg. Right, I think this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have it coming off a little bit, but I want a little bit of I'm gonna cheat, I'm gonna cheat now. Oh, I'm dropping everything. Oh, it was my sander. I'm going to cheat a little bit now because oh i've got some fringe um i'm going to use these and i might use some of the fringe so what i do with these is i peel the top layer off like that and then i've got some really cool chipboard because sometimes I use these thick, but sometimes I don't. <laughs> right, where's my frame gone? Where's my frame gone? Are you? Can you see it anywhere? Did I flip it somewhere? Are you all looking at the screen going, it's there, it's there. And I'm like, I can't see it. I can't see it because I've got so much stuff. Ah, there it is. <laughs> it's stuck to the bottom of a box. Right, so I want to, I'm not going to do it the other way around because I want to see that through there. Oh, shall we have it? So that the doorway is showing. Oh, that's a bit spooky, isn't it? Yeah, let's have it so the doorway is showing. So I want a bit there and there and not off the end. So from there. Right, so that's... So if I turn it over, I don't want to do this side. Right. So that can go there. Perfect. And then that one will be the same. So let's just glue that on there. And then we want a bit going down the middle, so just there. like that so then it's a little bit raised like that oh it's spooky and then I can just find some ephemera to cover that up because it doesn't look so bad under there like that right so I'm not going to glue that down straight away what I am going to do is I could put put that there I could put that there with some
some of this down the side. So I am going to put a, put this down here. I love the way this changes colour. So just dab that into the glue there. And then I'm going to stick this on. I'm going to put it down here so we can have that big tufty bit hanging over. Perfect. And then I think because I've got these on here, I'm still able to tuck things, so I am going to glue it on. Make sure we get. Oh, should we pull that through? Make sure we get the door. Hold these down. My fingers are all sticky. All right, this is, doesn't want to go, so let's put a little bit more. And that bit, of, that bit of glue will dry clear, so it's, it's not a problem. And I think I've put the frame on wonky, but I will take what I get. <laughs> As it stands right now, I will take what I get. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, shall we do a bit of trim? Because I've never used this before. Give it a little roll. Look at that. Uh, it's so cool. And that could... Oh, is that a bit too much? Maybe it needs a little bit. Feels quite thick. I don't know. What do you think? Hmm, maybe. I don't know. Um, what else have we got? Oh, we could put oh that's covers the door. Spooky lady. I know we've got some others here. I should have put her under it really, shouldn't I? It's a shame as a Oh, do you know what? I'm wondering. Because I didn't stick this side down. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Right. Let's slide you in. Just there. That's too cool. That's too cool. 
Right, now what I'm going to do is, because I've got some strippies, I'm going to hide that by putting a bit of this across the top of the tag. So I'm just going to come down a little bit past there and I'm going to put this here. I need to make sure it's straight. Yep. All right, let's take off the overhang and going to cut all the way to the top. Ah! Now there's another element there. So I'm just going to let that dry for a minute. <gasps> there's glue on my new mat. Oh, and there's glue on my transparency as well. I am not having a good day. Do you know what? I, I'm, I should just give up. <laughs> That's what I should do. Right, I'm going to go in with some of my curator snippets because some of these could still be a little bit sprawky because there's some grungy ones. that one just under do you know what I haven't done in a while I haven't used my um my sewing machine that's what I haven't done in a while let's trim this bit off gonna tuck that one just there that's coming on quite nice I'm gonna get my crocodile that out and then I'm going to use one of the grungy ones oh. and give it a little bit of a sand you know what I should have done oh. my head is all over the place hopefully my next video will be that's so crazy. I didn't ink up the frame. I wonder if I can just get hmm, that'll do.
That'll do. That looks quite cool. It's not my best work. It's not my favourite, but it's okay. Um, what else? Let's put a little one on. Let's put a little one just down. The glue spillage is real today. <laughs> oh dear. No, I'm still, that's why I haven't used it yet. I'm still not too sure about that. Maybe I will just find, um, find a project that I'll be like, I know what this needs. Um... Put a bat on. Why not? Shall we have a look for some words? I did this last time and I'm just... Oh, she says, she finds one straight away. <laughs> A strange visitor. I can put that. Or should we put it? Let's put it along there. Yeah, I like it out there. Give it a bit of. Bit of a scratch up. And there is a tag. It's not my favourite, but we've got a couple of cute things, I guess. <laughs> I guess we've got a couple. Um, right, let's attempt to make another one, shall we? Uh, the last one, because it's a tough day. Maybe, maybe a label. What do we think? There is a possibility that you're not actually going to see <laughs> that you're not actually going to see this video because it is just shocking. Absolutely shocking. I honestly well, I do know what's wrong with me. It's the weather. I'm having an off day. Oh, quite like him, but maybe he needs perking up. Needs the perfect fit. Oh, 
got a bit hanging out the bottom, but I can soon chomp that off. Make him a little bit, that's better, a little bit of a 3D bug. Now, this is going to be simple, and you know it is going to be my favourite one. <laughs> because that's how it works. Let's place him just there. And I got out some washi tape, didn't I? I love this washi tape. This is Heidi Swap's last year's Halloween. It's so grungy and cool. do is I'm gonna chip off the end like that I don't care that it's not even I know, I know, you're going to be like, yeah, but it's a craft mat, it's going to get mucky, but not on the first go round. Not on the first go round, it can't get mucky. Oh, we could use... Another label, but then I think that's a little bit too much. Um, what else? Oh, yes. But this one I'm going to ink with, where is it? There it is. Ground espresso. bit of this I'm not even bothered that you can't see it or it's just another element some more snippets because let's face it snippets makes everything better <laughs> even yeah even the tragedy of this video <laughs> but I'm going to carry on I'm going to persevere I will make my I will make my way through it
I'm not going to let it defeat me. Didn't I have that little green bit that I cut half off? I'm pretty sure I did, but I don't know what I've done with it. Ah, there it is. What do we reckon? Or shall we have it? Coming off the top. No. <laughs> Just no. I kind of like that, but I don't want I don't want it to be circular, but I like the middle bit. Smooching round. Do you know what that needs? Needs stitching. But I can't. I really am not in the mood to um to get my sewing machine out. Or am I? No, I'm not. <laughs> <gasps> oh dear! Send help! Somebody send help! But do you know what? It does need a stamp, and I kind of like the first one. Or is that too big? I think that might be too big, but that is kind of cool. I want a little one, but not with purple on. That one looks quite cool. And now, maybe, I need something. No. <laughs> it doesn't matter how many times I pull. I mean, and I love them. They're beautiful. But it doesn't matter how many times I pull them out. I am still like, just no. Nope. 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 <laughs> oh, what is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? Right, so shall I just leave it like that? Is that what I should do? Shall I just leave it like that? Let's have a look and see, because I love this. I want to see if I've got somewhere else I can use it. On here, because this is mega boring. That didn't excite me. That didn't make it any better. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, oh. Yes, that didn't make it any better. That didn't make it any better. But I'm going to stop here because I, I can't put you through any more of this. <laughs> shocking, shocking craft work. Do you know what I need to do? I need to sit down and turn the camera off. 
and just play um because obviously i think it's because halloween is like obviously we know it's once once a year isn't it um but i tend to i tend to do my halloween um crafting in october which it isn't is it it's september so but everything seems to be getting more and more earlier on in the year which is absolutely fine absolutely fine um but I'm I'm not kind of I'm not kind of there yet, if that makes sense. So and I think because at the minute I'm I'm still I'm kind of in Christmas mode as far as my stamps are concerned. So it's really hard for me to get like all spooky and because I don't know about you, but when I craft, there's certain things that I like to do. So I have a little a little chit chat while I tidy up. So when I when I craft, I like to put on a podcast or an audio book and something that kind of makes me feel um, content and happy and takes me into like just my own imagination. Um, I absolutely love doing that. And that's really hard to do. Where's my lid? There it is. That's really hard to do with um, like Halloween. Spooky stuff. So I think that's the trouble. And the weather. The weather's really, oh, it's just playing on, on my head at the minute. But I'm wondering if what this stuff is missing is an eyelet. <laughs> because, you know, well... I can't get any worse at this point, can I? So I might as well just add an eyelet on there. And maybe one on there. That's got an eyelet already. Let's put one down here. I mean, it can't hurt, right? <laughs> oh, it can't hurt. I guess you know we're only human we all have ugh, we all have off days and I think I'm just probably having a couple of off days Ah, come here. But I do quite like them. Maybe I should um put on some of my favourite scary movies. Oh, that made that look so much better. Hmm. Maybe adding the eyelets is going to make me feel better about these crafts. I mean, that's a big push, but you never know. <laughs> oh, dear. There we go. What do we think? In fact, don't answer that. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm just not in Halloween mode right now. However, they do look pretty cool. They do look pretty cool. So we've got a label, a cluster, two tags and a journal card. Mm. Yeah. They do look kind of cool. Not too sure about this one. I think it needs something down the middle of the bat. Like... I don't know. I don't know where. I don't know where I've put my Halloween paper dolls. And it's it's starting to annoy me now. I mean, I, I know they're not in here, but I'm looking anyway. <laughs> oh, 
see if I'd have known that was in there. No, just nothing, nothing is looking right. Nothing is looking right. I know you're sitting there thinking, Tony, really, where could you put a shutter? I couldn't put a shutter anywhere, so I'm not going to bother. <laughs> but I'm going to have a quick look for my paper dolls. So I've just found some more of my ephemera. Look at all this. I mean, I could have added a drippy candle. <laughs> oh. No, Tony, you really couldn't. Or I could have added a broomstick. Look, she could have had a broomstick. But no, because it would have looked... It still would have looked shocking. There's absolutely nothing in there that I can use. And I think that's why this year I didn't buy any of that kind of ideology because I just, I don't use it. Here we go. There's some paper dolls in here and a vase. I don't know what sets these are. That's what that needs, except there's two there and there's only one set of wings, so. And she's sitting down. That can't be the only two paper dolls I have in here. I don't know where my big tub of paper dolls has gone. wondering if I could cut I could cut him off and then it'll be why is there a creepy creepy hand on her shoulder well there you go see that's why it's creepy I like that I even like her feet sticking out the bottom and I actually quite like the creepy hand. <laughs> Give her a bit of a... Bit of an aging up. And then a bit of... Distress. Let's stick her on. And then I need to go for a, on a hunt for my paper dolls. Where's my wet wipe from? There it is. Yeah, I think that makes it look better. I might cut her feet off though. Yeah, I prefer that. I prefer that. And then I'm just wondering if there's That looks quite cool. What about? Oh, it's a shame I can't get him right under there so he can have a a wing as well, but then he'll be hiding. Oh well, maybe. Maybe. Let me hold on. Let me let me try and Do some DIY in here. Can 
be a bit of a peekaboo. I should have put him underneath. Or maybe. Nope. He's not going to go anywhere, is he? Nope. We'll use you another time. That's what we'll do. There can't possibly be anything in here that is going to... make these look even half okay. Nope, 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 I think I'm done. I think I'm done. I definitely think I am done. So, <laughs> I normally say, what do you think? I'm not even going to bother. <laughs> this was, this struggle, I'm going to put all these in here. This, this was a real struggle. I'm not going to lie. Condemned. There you go. Maybe I should attach that somewhere. <laughs> oh, I've got a bone. Should we put a bone somewhere? Maybe a bone will make it look better. I actually do quite like that though, I'm not going to lie. Um, no. Just no. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop right now. Is what I'm going to do. Because, whew, well she says that, but I've just looked around and... I've got sample st stamp sets. I wonder if it needs some stamping. That's me ink block. I mean, I don't know where I would stamp. And guess what? It's upside down. I'm quitting. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I am done. I am done, done, done. I'm not doing any more. Otherwise, I just, I can't. I just can't. Right, so. I'm going to end this video here. I'm going to go and have a little cry. <laughs> the biggest bar of chocolate in the house that's what i'm gonna do because this is just and then i've just found this like tony what is wrong with you just stop and i'm like no i need to make these better somehow somehow This isn't making it better. I'm not going to lie. Except I kind of quite like what it's doing to the frame. Giving it 
a little grungy feel. Right, I'm done. I am done now. I am done now. So here are some elements. I actually had more fun just doing the um, master board, to be honest, than making the ephemera. But I do like to be real. And I do like to show you ways that if you're kind of, you know, as if you're we're in the craft room together and I'm like just saying to you I'm having a real hard time but I'm gonna persevere through it so yeah this is me persevering through it so that even if you do have a bad day carry on carry on or get up turn your light off leave the room and come back to it another day there's, there's nothing wrong, absolutely nothing wrong with doing that. I do that quite a lot um, and just have a little, take a break, I just take a break. So here is, I don't even know what to call this, the Halloween masterboard stuff. <laughs> no, I do, it's all right, it's all right, it is all right. I'm going to take that out of there because it's annoying me. And I'm going to add one of Heidi Swap's tickets because these are just the greatest invention. And I'm going to give it a little... And then I'm just going to put it behind there. That's better. That's better. That red was just too much. And this is, yeah, that's better. I do, yeah, they're not bad. They're not bad. <laughs> I bet you were going, Tony, just walk away now. Right, I'm done. I'm absolutely done. And um, yeah, I'm going to upload this video as a what to do when your brain is just full of fluff so thank you for being here thank you for persevering with me if you made it to the end i honestly do not blame you if you didn't <laughs> if you made it to the end put a little ghost emoji in the comments because <laughs> it will be good to see how many people actually switched off <laughs> because i did i did so I can't put a ghost emoji in the comments because, yeah, I'm filming and I switched off ages ago. <laughs> right. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I mean, please go and watch another video when you um, after this and then decide to subscribe. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. But yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. I promise they're not all like this. And I will see you in my next video, which hopefully will be a lot better than this one. <laughs> Happy crafting, everybody. Bye.